What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Is it possible that our Western educated culture has confused what is the gospel, 1 Corinthians 15, 3 through 5, with what is evangelism, Acts 24, 25? The answer is, drumroll, yes. Evangelism is tough and at times can put you into tricky situations, like the time a guy hissed at me like a snake, or the other time the guy put a hex on me. But love for others demands precision and clarity in this great endeavor. Evangelism contains, number one, the need, breaking the law. They violated the law. Two, the penalty, hell. Three, the reward of Christ's righteousness, heaven and adoption. Four, the gospel, the sinless life of Christ and his substitutionary death and resurrection. Five, the command to turn from sin, repentance and faith. Six, the subsequent fruit as obedience to the word of God and growth in holiness. Now, this is why so many people, so many gospel presentations are weak and insufficient. They're presenting the news without the facts of the case. Imagine this. If a heart surgeon started at random to mail out appointment reminders about an upcoming transplant that you have, you would be angry and probably a little bit confused. When the gospel is discussed, it's very important to focus on the heart and to understand that God can save from any verse. There is no benefit, though, to our hearers when we are unclear. Smash the like button and subscribe below. Thanks for watching. And God bless.